Hey, welcome everyone to the Vero Beach International Tennis Tournament. We're really excited. It's the first tournament of the year for the women's tour. The other part are playing down in Australia in some small event. But uh, the major ones are here. And we want to just welcome everybody here on our opening day. It's a little bit chilly, but we're very glad you're here. And I just want to say a couple things first. My name is Roscoe Tanner. Uh, I teach here at the club. And I'd like to introduce Marco Osorio, one of the owners. Um, who's been instrumental in developing the Vero Beach Tennis Club to this day where it is and it just continues to improve and it's exciting what's happening for tennis. Also, I want to introduce Mary Madeline, one of our members who's been instrumental in getting things done for us and helping out with the tournament. So uh, if the weather will just cooperate a little bit this week, we'll have a great event. The girls are going to play really, really well and it's a good thing. So also, I want to thank the volunteers who have done unbelievable things working all over the entire property, and it's large. It's got a lot of tennis courts here, but they're doing tremendous things in helping out and getting the club ready for you all to come watch. Uh, I also want to thank the USTA and the Lions people that have been doing their job. Sitting up on the top of one of these chairs in the wind is not fun. But also the players, the coaches, I want to welcome all of them to Vero Beach and to the tennis club here to play in the tournament. So we're very excited that they're here. Um, I've seen some great tennis so far, and I'm sure we're gonna see, continue to see better and better tennis. Also, I wanna thank the members of the club that haven't volunteered, but have been instrumental in getting things done also. It's great to have you here. Now, also, a special thanks, and I don't know where he is, he's probably running around working somewhere, but I wanna have a special thanks to Leo, who takes care of the courts. It's not simple to take care of courts when you have 40 degree wet temperature swings overnight and wind and all this stuff. These are difficult to do, but he's fantastic and he works like crazy. So now, and next, I would like to introduce Commissioner O'Brien, Peter O'Brien, who is a tennis player. He won't admit it, but he said he played tennis in high school. He was on the junior varsity, so I personally now am challenging you to a match. Oh boy. <laughs> And I, I'm, I'm playing okay. So, but anyway, he said he's gonna maybe start playing tennis again, so we look forward to seeing him out on the courts. Also, I would like to introduce Rich Nalbandian. He's with the Treasure Coast Sports Commission. And they have been so helpful in getting us bleachers, seats, taking care of many, many different uh, items for us. And it's just terrific to have them on board with the tournament or for us to be on board with you, however you wanna put it. Next. I would like to introduce the county commissioner, or a county commissioner of Indian River County, Joe Flesher. Welcome, glad to have you here. Now just to tell you a little bit about Joe, Joe worked as a New York City police officer, a fire safety director, and then served as a manager on duty of the Marriott Marquis in Times Square. We hope we have that many people here this week. <laughs> But, but anyway, we are very pleased to have you here, and I think you have a few words you wanted to say for us, so welcome. Thank you all, uh, and who would imagine that we would be here on this cold, blistery day? Does it feel like New York? Yes. That's right, and in this, in this subtle little subdivision here in Indy River County, thanks Lozano, uh, meeting the individuals that have a dream to have world-class tennis right here in Vero Beach in Indy River County was quite a surprise, quite an excitement. And I said, well, maybe six months to a year from now, we're gonna see some world-class tennis. It's here today. And we were only together just a couple of months ago as we were signing off and looking at the uh, utilities and all the rest that had to happen for this great event. Uh, wow, the, this is the first uh, five-year commitment that we have here, and we're going to see, uh, we just walked through a sea of young athletes, and uh, to, just to know that we have some, uh, the Rocket is here, we're going to have some great experiences, we're going to see some matches now, I understand, uh, Commissioner O'Brien, you said you had, what, a 115 mile an hour serve? Uh, 
admit, no. Uh, I know Roscoe had 153, and I'm not getting on the court with anybody but with 153 mile an hour. That's right. There, there were some baseball pitchers that uh, that hit 95, and they, they're unfortunate. Can you imagine 152 miles an hour? Wow. Well, I did get a chance to see that as uh, I volunteered, and I want to point out, I, I volunteered uh, in, in New York. Uh, thank you for bringing that up about my humble upbringing. Uh, I was part of the U.S. Open up in New York. Uh, it's, it's a quiet little town up north of here. It's about the same temperature today. And uh, they look for a lot of volunteers. And, and I want to thank all of the volunteers that have put themselves in harm's way of these 152 mile an hour serves. <laughs> because there'll be people running across the nets and there'll be people to make sure that there's enough towels and there's enough parking and there's the logistics that are involved with this. So I just want to say a special thanks to all of the volunteers. Without that, there would be no match. Now we're looking for a five year commitment. Is everybody ready for that? Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Because we're ready for this five year commitment. We're on the map. And this is going to bring some attention here to Indian River County. And uh, we're, we're really excited about that. So uh, without further ado, uh, and, and I want you to know that we have the 100% support of the Treasure Coast Sports Commission, a board in which I serve as well. But Rich Nalbandian, I know he's been a tremendous asset to this point. And uh, don't look too far, because uh, you have the asset right here. And this man is incredible. Okay, the man behind the scenes of that little baseball field we have, and this, this area is going to be as significant to Indy River County. Thanks in part to you for the inception, for the planning, all of the volunteers, all of those fine young athletes that we just walked through. We're looking to see some great games happen, some great matches, and uh, all of the support. So thank you again. And I think I would like to uh, yield the microphone to the chairman of the Board of County Commission, Peter O'Brien. Thank you. Thank you all very much. And uh, just would like to apologize. We have a little bit of unseasonal weather today. But the good news is it should warm up through the week. So we're looking forward to the, uh, the weather matching the, uh, the hot tennis play we'll have here. The, uh, the great thing about this event, I think, is how it supports the youth particularly the youth and tennis, and how we have uh, a couple private individuals that are now partnering with other groups, such as the Marty Fish Foundation, to uh, bring together this event to promote not only tennis, but to uh, promote the youth in tennis and keep that movement alive. So I think it's just a great partnership, and we can really see that now the, the dream is beginning to become a reality. So thank you all, all for your very hard work. Roscoe, if you play left-handed, I might get on the court with you, but not, oh, well, then right-handed. Oh, my. Oops. Oops. That scatter report wasn't right. But thank you all for coming out. Enjoy the tennis, and uh, have a great week, and we'll go back to uh, Roscoe. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we'll be starting with Sewer Tennis in just a minute, but there's one person who just stepped up who wasn't here before. Leo, take a step forward, please. I know Leo loves to make speeches, but you don't have to make a speech, Leo. Just take a bow. <laughs> but this is the man who makes everything work and who really takes care of the courts, and we love him here. Thanks. Yeah. 